Hey guys, I'm Dan. I'm Ernest. And today we're excited to talk to you about looping campaigns. Cool, sounds cool. Yeah. Well, let's give you an example. So birthdays happen every year for most people, yeah. right? And um, I look forward to my birthday every year. You know why? Why? Tell me. Because Grimaldi's Pizzeria will send me an email with a coupon for one large uh, one topping pizza. Wow, one large one topping. One large one topping pizza. <laughs> for one yeah. birthday boy. For one birthday boy. <laughs> I love but it. But the pizza's so big, I can share it with the whole family, nice. and it's for the entire birthday month. So, oh, what? Yeah, it's no actually way. really cool. cool. All right, I'm signing up for Grimaldi's. Yeah. Uh, all right, so tell, so what you're saying, if I'm reading through it, is they're sending an email automatically on your birthday. Yep. Um, how would, let's say, someone, some other type of business that's not restaurant use a looping campaign? Yeah. Or so a uh, financial planner or wealth manager might use a looping campaign for annual reviews that they do with their clientele. That's or one maybe it's tax season for a tax accountant. Yep. And you might want to loop a campaign to get them through that process yeah, all over again. That's a perfect example. Or when it comes time to renew your insurance, rates change, mm -hmm. your driving history might be better. It's a great time to reach out and say, hey, let's review and see if we can save you some money. So looping campaign is allowing a business to restart the process of a campaign, and it's usually for a process that happens every year between the business and the client. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. If you know for a fact that every year you need to reach out to someone to try to get them back in and take a look at your service, you don't want to have to manually do that over and over again. So Infusionsoft helps enable you to do that automatically. And how do we do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to show you. So this actually happens inside of a campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and create a campaign here. All right, I'll go ahead and call this tax season campaign. And when it comes to creating a loop campaign, tags are the name of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out a tag goal. And I'll call this start tax season. Let's go ahead and create that tag or select it if I've already got one. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and pull out a sequence and connect the two of them. Now, for most people, tax season is April, but as a tax professional, you want people to start coming in probably in January or February. So let's create something that gets them to come in around that time. So I'm going to go ahead and double click inside the sequence here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a delay timer and uh, double click on this. And I'm going to say, let's wait a day, run on a specific day of the month on a specific month. So in this case, I want this to run every February 1st at 10 AM. So I'll save that. So real quick, to recap, I've applied a campaign. They're now my customers in a sequence that is delayed every year up until February 1st. So February 1st, then we're going to start doing something. Yeah, so right now, the way this campaign works is it's waiting until February 1st. Hmm. And if we did nothing else, then it would just run that one time. We'll show the loop so that every year we can make this happen automatically. So I'm going to drag out an email, and this is the come see us email. So this is inviting them to come see us on February 1st. If we did nothing else and we published this campaign as is, then all of my clients on the next February 1st would get this email, and that's where it would stop. But this, how do you loop it? This is where the loop comes into play, so I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is go back into this sequence, and I'm going to go ahead and wait a day. And the reason that I want to wait one day is because I don't want to accidentally loop on the same day. Mm -hmm. So if February 1st is when that email is supposed to go out, then I want to make sure that the next time this loop happens is on the following February 1st. So I'm going to say, let's wait one day. And um, we can run this on any day at any time. It doesn't matter. We'll save that. Now, in order to get things to loop, we've actually got to use the same tag exiting a campaign as we do entering the campaign. I know that that sounds weird, but bear with me. So first things first, I want to actually remove the tag that was originally applied. And that was the start tax season tag. Now, the way that the campaign builder works is it does things step by step. But oftentimes, if you're trying to do a bunch of things at once, um, you might want to have a little bit of a fail-safe. 
So in this case, what I like to do is I like to add a one minute delay. And again, doesn't matter, any day, any time. And I'm going to go ahead and reapply that start tax season tag. I'm going to bring this all full circle. All right, we're almost there. Let me get out of this sequence for a second. You know how we have these little white flags in this blue box? When I tap this, it says when a goal is achieved, this sequence stops immediately. In other words, when there's a goal achieved after a sequence, it's going to pull someone out of this wherever they are, and it's going to take them on to whatever else they need to accomplish. So what I need to do is I need to actually take this same tag, the start tax season tag, and I need to stick it at the end of this as well. Now, this is where it'll all start coming together. So, Dan, it's tax season. I want you to come in. You're on my list. I tag you one time. On February 1st, you're going to get this email. On February 2nd, that tag is going to be removed from you. And the following minute, that tag, the start tax season tag, is going to be reapplied. When that start tax season tag is reapplied, it's pulling you out of the sequence, because remember, yep. when a goal is achieved, this sequence stops immediately. It's pulling you out of the sequence, but because you've achieved that goal, it's actually pushing you back to the beginning as well, mm -hmm. because you've actually achieved the entry goal to this campaign as well. And then I'm so, now being looped again to that February 1st email that's exactly the following right. year. That's exactly awesome. right. So this can be used with birthdays. Mm -hmm. This could be used when doing reviews for um, insurance or for mm -hmm. wealth management. And we've even got a campaign in the marketplace uh, that is a birthday campaign that allows you to do this. All you do is go in, modify the content, and you could be off on your way. So a pretty advanced feature, well, advanced configuration, but once you have it set up, it's really powerful for you, your business, and your customers to come back year after year. Absolutely. You never have to touch it again. That's, That's awesome. the nice thing. That's great. All right. Well, thank well, you thanks, so much, guys. guys. Have fun.